Yeah. Go up. Yep, he's gonna run. He's not doing good. Hey everybody. So uh, we're back at it out this evening on October 7th. Um, I didn't see anything this morning. Nothing to report. Josh saw two deer at the Longan Road stand, which is where I'm at now. Um, this spot has been really good for a lot of people this year, especially in the evenings. Don't really know what to expect. I'm sure if I should be out here. But I know I can't kill one sitting at the house. And uh, we've got winds and a cold front moving through. So the high today was like 65, but there's like 15 mile an hour northwest winds that feel cold. So I expect that to get some deer up and moving. I'm just doing it. I got nothing else for you than that. I'm just here and I'm gonna try and hunt. So I'm gonna pray real quick. I probably should have thought it up before I did that. And then we're gonna get to hunting. So Lord, we thank you for this day. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, for the rest I got this afternoon and for an opportunity to get out here again. I pray, Lord, that uh, you'll see fit to bless me tonight and uh, bring some deer my way, Lord. And uh, just help me in my pursuits. I thank you, Lord, for the blessings you've already given, uh, for the help you've given my wife this week. I pray, Lord, you continue to be with us as we struggle with that. And uh, help us along the way. I thank you, Lord, for all these things and pray in your name. Amen. All right, y'all. So, uh, big doe comes out, I might shoot her. Got a couple people that want meat. And uh, a nice buck comes out, I may shoot that. I really, I, I don't have any expectations other than just, I'm going to sit and see. It's about 5, what, 520? Yeah, it's about 520 right now. So the sunset is in like an hour and 40 minutes, last lights in two hours, kind of thing. Just gonna see how the night goes, see how it takes us. That's all I got for y'all. Hopefully we'll see deer soon. Things started really slow that evening, with lots of high winds and a few squirrels. Then at 7.03, I got a surprise visitor. This beautiful 10-pointer just appeared on me and caught me completely off guard. So much so that I jumped into action way too quickly and just completely stalled him from coming down while there was still good light. Originally, he was coming in on a beeline. Now, he's suspicious of every little flutter of leaf in the tree. I'm going to need all the Lord's blessings here to salvage this rookie mistake I made. He stood in this exact same spot, doing the head bob for nearly two minutes before finally budging and inching his way forward. Did I mention I'm losing light fast at this stage? Man, I mean, I don't even know if this shot opportunity is actually going to happen. Another 30 seconds later, and he finally steps onto the trail. Now, he's within 30 yards here, but until he walks to the corn pile, I don't have a clear shot. Wait, where did she come from? I was so focused on this buck, I didn't even see the doe walk up. So the doe obviously saw me setting up and is staring at me. She could actually bust me at this stage. Thankfully, she doesn't, and the buck is very content eating away at the corn pile.
wait, what just happened? Where is she going? All right, at this stage, the buck is 30 yards away, and I do have a small window between these two saplings. But I believe that if I wait a little bit longer, he's going to feed clear and give me a better shot opportunity. The doe came back and is now feeding behind the buck. My guess is that he actually pushed her off the pile, and she just went around to feed. Everybody's calm. I can wait and get the best shot. Now it's just a waiting game to see if I can get the shot I want before I lose light. It's going to be very close. He's finally moving again, giving me hope. My crosshairs are settled in, watching the light fade. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about all the recent shots that people have taken and missed because the deer have jumped the string. So I'm aiming low. Now it's hard to tell because of the low light, but this deer actually dropped back instead of down when the bow went off. Good shot on him. I don't know what buck that was, but that was a nice buck. Uh, nice, tall, look like a good fill down, maybe three year old, nine or maybe even a ten pointer, I don't know, but I didn't even think I was going to see it there tonight, and he came out. Then I had another doe out here running around him, and I waited forever for him to finally clear these two little trees that were right there. I don't know how good of the footage it was because it's getting dark and we'll try and lighten it up but uh, <laughs> I shot a buck and he went that way <laughs> hopefully it was a good shot that was a hard one to tell oh man thank you lord for that I needed a good good thing to happen and he blessed he provided that was awesome looked real pretty I liked it and I wanted something good. So I shot him. Yes, all right. I gotta text some friends because I'm gonna need help getting him out from where he ran. So there's the bolt. Oh, not sure about that. That's not good. I hope that doesn't mean I hit brisket. It's not good at all. Not sure what to take of that. Let's see if we find the blood real quick. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, let's see. I mean, it's it's a decent blood trail. All right. That makes me feel better. Alrighty. So we're gonna go drop our stuff and get on out of here. So Judy here is kind enough to come and help me. We're gonna start looking for this deer. We looked at the footage. Still not quite sure about the shot. We're gonna go up, start at first blood, and work our way down. I left the bolt to mark first blood. That's our first blood, and the trail goes that way. There. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's some good spray. There. So he went over this log. It looks like. Yep. Cause see, here's the blood on the log. Right here. Okay. That's not a lot. Nope. That makes me worry. Right there. Uh, there was another one up here. Yep. I saw right there. See? Yep. 
It looks like it's going that way, which is right. Right there. That's the right direction. Big time. Big time. Big time. I like big time. Oh yeah, I see it. That's still pretty wet too. There we go. Ah, we're getting somewhere. Oh, what you got right there? You're spraying good. Oh, he's spraying really good all through here. Look at that. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better now. <laughs> right there. Oh yeah. Like lung blood. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yep. And right there next to it too. It's a good bit of it right through here. Look. Yep. Right across that rock right, right there. Right here. All the way up to here. Right here. Yeah. Oh, look at that leaf. Yep. Holy cow. There. And he's right definitely here. bleeding good. He's bleeding on both sides. Yeah. Well, it looked like a pass through. At this stage, I'm looking ahead too. Behind you. Turn around. Turn around, he went up yep, this way. Yep, yep. Yep, right there. Yeah. Up, yeah. <coughs> oh, mm. look. Oh yeah. He went this way. Oh yeah, that's what I want to see right there. Oh yeah. That's a good stuff. Goodness. I mean, that's... That's good blood. Here. 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 Definitely not how I normally like oh, it, yeah. but oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's what I want to see it ever. Right that, that's that bright crimson red. Lots of it, and he's oh. Yeah, he's squirting out real good. Okay, so the hit wasn't as bad as I thought for sure. Just coming out both sides. Yep. This is the kind of blood trail we like. Leads me to a nice buck. Oh! Yeah, he has. He's bleeding real good now. Yep. Did you find him? Oh. No, I found him Oh. A ton of blood. Yeah. He is. Question's gonna be where? You go up again? Holy cow! I mean, oh, that's uh, that's a really good blood trail right there. Look at that. That deer's been opened up for sure. Good night. He's gone this far. He stood right here for a minute. I cannot believe. This deer made it this far. Jody? Yeah. Stop. Stop right now and come back. Jody? Yeah. Come here. You see him? Yeah. Still alive? Yep, he's getting ready to run. He's not doing good. You get the pistol? Yeah. 22. Yeah, Alright, y'all. We're going to have to put this deer down. So I'm yeah. going to turn this off. Alright, so we walked up on him. He was laying there, but he was in bad shape. Tried getting Jody's attention to back him off because I could see him laying there. Um, Headed up, busting and running. 
is able to sneak up within like three yards and in this state you're allowed to dispatch a wounded deer with a 22 pistol which I carry so was able to go up and sneak within like three yards of him and finish the job it's the first time I've done that I gotta say I don't like it but uh, glad it's done so now we can go check out the buck Jody is on his way hey you weren't supposed to do that <laughs> Oh, he ain't dead yet, apparently. <sighs> Goodness. All right. Apparently, it took a couple more shots. Jody grabbed him to pull him out. And uh, he wasn't quite gone. So, but uh, finally, was able to put one in the back of the head and put him out of his misery. Don't like doing that. Real pretty buck. I don't know this buck. I don't think I've ever seen him before. Nice and wide, got that good long old face. Probably about three I'd say. Thank you Jody. My pleasure. We're gonna get him out of here and uh, we'll see y'all at the skinner shed. All right y'all. Well he is definitely not my biggest but I'm happy with him. Uh, had a crappy week this week. Lord brought him to me, I think. And uh, he's a pretty 10-pointer. Uh, definitely, you know, bigger out in these woods, but, uh, you know, I needed something to make me feel good. And not only did I get me a nice pretty buck, but uh, also the meat's gonna go to a buddy of Jody's who is uh, kind of desperately looking for meat and limited on uh, capabilities of hunting it. He, he doesn't have as much time and doesn't have as many places to go. So he's gonna take the meat and uh, you know, we're gonna donate it to somebody who wants it. Uh, this year's been a year of first. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to sneak up on a deer and put it down like that. That's kind of odd especially a buck like that uh, turned out the shot went through the front shoulder kind of across the brisket and out underneath so we nicked some arteries by the blood trail but uh, overall I'd say that uh, was a marginal shot at best would you agree yep. yeah yep. yeah I don't like the shot and I don't like how I had to get finished but I do like being able to uh, tag him and that's what we're gonna do and then I like being able to donate the meat and that's also what we're gonna do so there we go so guys first buck of the season pretty 10 pointer I'm happy with that and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come so this is Jonathan with Pinnacle Outdoor Traditions telling you whether in the woods or on the water get outdoors and make some traditions of your own I like this one a lot so we will see y'all on the next video more hunting's coming up bye Oh, that's it. The, the evil black rifle. Right. That's, you know, no good for hunting. It Not bad for, uh, for my first out of state, you know, horn buck. No.